So what is High School Battle of the Books? It's a contest for creative submissions that includes all Baltimore County schools. There are 10 books that you can choose from, and you'll create a final project based off of your favorite. The battles will have two tiers. Tier one is the branch battle, where each library branch will pick a winner from the submissions that they get. And tier two will be the final battle, where we pick the final battle of the book's winner from all of the branch winners. What will your final project look like? We're looking for a work of expressive art based on your personal interpretation, reflection, or whatever else inspired you from the book you pick. You have a ton of freedom with what you can do for a final project. It can be a written piece, like a short story, essay, or a poem. It can be an image, like a painting, a photograph, or a sculpture. It can be something in audio format, like a song, a podcast, or a book talk. Or it can be a video of a dance, a performance piece, a monologue, a theatrical scene, or you can even come up with something completely original. Your project will be judged based on a scoring rubric for each battle. We're looking to see how well you understood the book, its plot and its characters, and the themes or the messages that the book was trying to convey, as well as your interpretation of the material. Why is this book important and what impact did it have on you or on society? We're also looking at the craftsmanship. Does it look like you've checked for errors, planned well, and paid attention to detail? Finally, we wanna see creativity, something unique that adds a new dimension to the book. When you're reading, it's helpful to take notes as you go to help you put together your project. Focus on key details, like important events and the overall plot, characters, and the historical or social context of the story. Pay attention to the themes and the symbols in the book. These are the big ideas, the lessons, or the messages that the book is trying to get across. Things like identity, family, revenge, big concepts. Symbols are concrete images or objects that are used to represent something more abstract. Think of a bird in flight representing freedom, or a black cat or a broken mirror symbolizing bad luck. Keep an eye out for things like this when you're reading to help you out when you put together your final project. So how do you get started? Take a look at this list of books or some of the book buzz videos. Pick a favorite, go over the rules of the battle, attend one of the author visits if you like, and get creative.